Morning people! Wow, it's a very, very hot day today. It's only 10 a.m. plus, but it looks like it's super duper hot. All right. Set temperature to 20 degrees. Temperature set to 20 degrees. All right, guys. Now, I have a... Someone asked me the question of... What about Mazda HCCI engine? The uh, Skyactiv X. Now, um, wait, is the Skyactive X the HCCI engine? I think it is. The Skyactive R is the rotary. Okay, Skyactive X. Because I just put up a video about why diesels make more torque, okay? And I saw a lot of commenters. They said, hey, diesel makes more torque because of high compression. You know, that's the reason why I made that video because a lot of people doesn't understand the correlation between more torque and high compression. You, you search all over the internet, all the scientific reasons, they only tell you because of more compression. But for laymen, said, what do you mean more compression, more torque? So, so that's, that's the aim for that video actually. Okay, anyway, now back to Mazda's HCCI engine, the uh, Skyactiv X. Uh, why the guy made that question is because he must have read somewhere that that is a gasoline engine that behaves like a diesel engine so that's why he he asked that question in the comments i mean i will attempt to answer that okay the thing is this first of all why do we have a petrol engine and a gasoline engine um of course it's different technology it's developed by different people gasoline engines uh the person who perfected the cycle is actually uh nicolaus otto Nikolaus, Nikolaus Otto, uh, which a lot of us have heard, Otto cycle engine, right? And of course, after that, you have Atkinson cycle, you have a lot of other cycle, Miller cycle and all that. But Otto, Otto is the first guy who sort of developed the four-stroke cycle whereby it includes inhale, compress, combust, exhale. The four steps, they call it the four cycle. Or in layman terms, suck. Squeeze, blow, wait, suck, squeeze, bang, bang, blow, sorry, suck, you first you suck, and then you squeeze, and then you bang, and then you blow, remember this, suck, squeeze, bang, blow, that is the principle of auto cycle engines, okay, and Nikolaus Otto, he founded the engine company, he has a son, he passed to his son, the son made put the engine in airplanes blah blah it became BMW okay they can BMW can be traced all the way back to Nikolaus Otto and Nikolaus Otto has two employees one of them is Wilhelm Maybach the other one is Gottlieb Daimler familiar names right these two guys following Nikolaus Otto then decided hey this thing I put on a car yeah, that's Mercedes-Benz, Daimler Motoren Gieserschaft. I Previously, I've made another video talking about this, so I'm not going to go delve further, but this is just for those people who... Oh, I didn't know that! No, first time who, who saw my videos. Anyway, uh, Mazda, coming back to Mazda. So, a uh, gasoline engine is controlled by a spark plug ignition, right? And that's why you can go, you can go fast because everything is controlled you know using the chain and all that the sparking and all that so uh, that's why diesel engines they don't rev as high I would say because no matter how it's physics you need to you need to produce the squeeze and then the fuel combusts by itself you need to reach that critical point so that it can combust by itself okay now Mazda Mazda's HCCI engine is gasoline but their aim is to have complete combustion just like diesel engines why diesel engines are so efficient because of complete combustion a uh, little bit of fuel and then you have air and then the fuel as i mentioned in the other video imagine this is the chamber this is the chamber that is the room available between the piston and the top of the cylinder head all the fuel inside here combust together instead of like a gasoline engine whereby 
you spark and then the fire blows out like that that's described in my previous video in a gasoline engine you need the spark plug to spark and then the fire will burn out along the way while the piston is moving down creating more room letting the fire to play catch up with the gasoline and air mixture inside which is not very efficient okay so that's that's the main difference between a gasoline engine and a diesel engine diesel uses pressure to combust them all together at once okay that is the major difference and that's where the efficiency and the power comes from as well so Mazda wants to do this with a gasoline engine so that means very very high compression but gasoline fuel is more resistant to combustion than gasoline fuel gasoline fuel is way more resistant so they have to raise the compression very very high and then they were thinking okay this is about there already it's almost there that the fuel may combust okay but let's make it electronically controllable okay and that means the engine also has a spark plug a small a spark plug on top but the usage of that spark plug is not to burn the fuel the usage of that spark plug is to create a little bit of spark so that at that very critical moment that spark plug is able to control the pressure that means when you spark you increase the, the pressure because you are turning some of the fume into gas you are increasing the pressure so that allows Mazda to to perfectly control when or when they want the critical pressure to happen so that all the fuel within the chamber all the gasoline now no longer diesel uh, all the gasoline combust together this is a major difference between normal gasoline engines where the fuel is lying there the fire is coming oh it's burning my way burning my way coming 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 through coming through and then you get burned you know it's very different this is compression and then all of them is oh i'm blowing up i'm blowing up yeah, right i can't hold it any longer you know all of them are like that and then boom all of them combust together that is the breakthrough that mazda uh, is aiming and seemingly achieved in the uh, Skyactiv-X engine now to make that even better I'm gonna use an analogy you see in an engine right you have you have you have fuel right stratified injection or whatever and then you have air okay the best way to burn them is when they are beautifully mixed perfectly mixed you see when you just intake and then you attempt to blow Imagine again the chamber that I mentioned just now. Now I zoom in even further. Now the chamber is this big. Okay, here comes the fuel. Here comes the air. Do you think they are properly mixed? They are not. They are there. The ratios are there, but within the ratio itself, it's not properly mixed. Say for example, you are trying to make Milo. Okay, I take a cup. I put three three spoonful of Milo powder inside I pour some water and I start drinking that's not right I have to stir right you stir them you mix them up together perfectly well so that they are conditioned okay in that calcul calculated ratio and that kind of uh, consistency that it is able to burn perfectly every single time so how Mazda achieves this? Because what Mazda is doing here with the uh, Skyactiv X engine is very, very low tolerances. Okay, they are micro managing. No, they are nano managing everything that happens within that little combustion chamber here. So they actually designed, they invented uh, the piston shape on top, and the way the valves and all that. That what they have created is that. When the moment the, the intake happens, the fuel and air comes in, they come in in a way whereby they don't hit each other, but they create a whirlwind inside, a tiny hurricane inside. So this is a fundamental breakthrough, whereby when the car is doing its intake, the air fuel is mixed as it's coming in, perfectly mixed because of the whirlwind effect or the cyclone effect, so that when they combust, they compress, all of them are perfectly conditioned just like a frying pan you put egg you put 
you put sauce and all that and then you scramble them perfectly that is the breakthrough of the Mazda HCCI engine making it perfect for when the pressure is there at a critical point and they are able to control the, when the combustion happen with a tiny little spark plug that increases the pressure as and when it's needed or when it is designed for that moment to combust so this allows all the fuel all the gasoline in the chamber to all blow up all together at the correct time every single time and that achieves the power and efficiency of diesel engines yet it is a gasoline engine I guess that's the gist of Mazda Skyactiv-X X a very 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 impressive technology to be honest and they achieve this not by brute engineering they achieve this by brilliant physics yes there is some form of engineering but you look at Nissan Nissan wants to achieve efficiency they created a variable compression engine or an engine with a variable angle crankshaft so that it shifts the angle of the piston so it gives the piston this or this okay there are two compression ratios but to me this is very old school in the sense because last time Honda has the, the VTEC right above a certain RPM mechanically kang, different cam profile and then you get the kind of power this also to me is a bit of a this or this compression and it's mechanical mechanical means moving parts moving parts means one day they'll stop moving yeah engines should always go for simplicity and uh, I think yes it's, it's very impressive but uh, that means there's no stop one day they'll come up with a variable engine block size the engine block is able to expand and contract just like our lungs I don't know man but to me I think what Mazda is aiming for is way more practical way more uh, presumably way more reliable than having and a crankshaft that <laughs> this guy is so big so scary I hate parking lots like this fuck you architects fuck you yeah see you